Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys? Hope you all had a good weekend. Hoping you had a first date or made connection with someone. Capricorn, ooh, we got exchanging gifts and thinking. Oh my goodness, someone's doing some thinking. Ooh, poised and ready. Get yourself ready. <laughs> Someone has you on a bit of a pedestal here. Mm. Someone may give you something, okay? It could be a gift. Someone may be thinking about giving you a gift. Get yourself ready. Capricorn, what is this energy around you? What is this energy around you, single Capricorns? The overall energy around single Capricorns. What do they need to know? Girls, energy around single Capricorns. What do they need to know? Oh yeah, you got someone here who's in their feelings. This could be a romantic gift. You may have a secret admirer, someone who's thinking about you. Oh yeah, there you are. Hmm. Focused on money, st stability, being very sensible here about your feelings and emotions. Some of you might be admiring someone as well. <laughs> oh, you got an emperor here. Oh my goodness. You have someone here who's, you have an emperor. This could be anybody. Aries, Taurus. I see Pisces, Cancers, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, an emperor. You have an emperor in their head about you. Oh yeah, this is someone who, <laughs> you got a person, they could be an Aries. Okay, ready to take a leap of faith. This could be yourself too, being very sensible. You know what you want, you're not settling. Someone sees you as very sexy, attractive, maybe hardworking, very creative. This person's about to take a leap of faith towards you. So now we have Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. Oh, yeah. You have an offer coming in. It could be a gift. Someone might be giving you something. Something sentimental. Something sweet. This is a person who a lot of times is this. An emperor is someone very logical. Okay. They kind of keep their feelings to themselves. So they sometimes give little gifts to show someone that they care. So this is someone who's doing a lot of thinking about giving you something that they want they don't want to be a fool and <laughs> give you something you don't want uh, this is interesting energy yeah they this is something solid something you can hold in your hand this person has you on a pedestal oh yeah they're heading towards you they want to start something so yeah some of you could be moving away from someone okay it's possible Oh, look at that. So someone who wants to have success with you. Yeah, you got someone who's, could be someone who's, you know, at that crush stage right now where they want to show you that they have feelings, but they're not going to come right out and say it. Um, it is possible here, you know what you want, you know, you're not settling, but you know, the Queen of Wands isn't always in that energy. This is uh, somebody who's uh, playful, youthful, friendly, a lot of fun. Uh, so, you know, it is someone who's very determined, someone who knows exactly what they want. It is to do with success. It's about someone who's planning to have success. And this is an energy, too, where you kind of know you aren't, you definitely aren't going to settle. I can see it. The thinker card's in the middle. So uh, it's an energy that you will walk away if someone doesn't offer you, you know, if they don't want to start something, you're just going to walk away towards something more successful. But you have a person who's got you on a pedestal. This is about being poised, being ready. Okay, you can see we have a person there who's... Um, almost dancing on the top of this pedestal you see it's some kind of a celebration it's about being ready something is about to be you're going to start get someone's going to give you attention it's also an energy if someone doesn't give you the attention you want you just walk away <laughs> okay yeah because i feel like you're just in an energy where you're kind of okay where you're at but i feel like you'd like somebody so let's see what this moon energy is Oh, yeah, see, this is someone's cup runneth over with emotions. It's an opportunity. Oh, my gosh, there you go. 
Yeah, someone's tempering their passions, their emotions, making a head over heart decision. You got someone here who's very logical, the emperor. The emperor generally knows exactly what they want and they go for it. So I feel this person is tempering something here. It's about being patient. I feel like you are being patient. Well, you're being very sensible, and I do feel that you've got this person. Look at that. There's that, the start of something. See, if some of you have someone who uh, comes in and starts something with you, and then they don't give you a lot of attention, if it's not successful, you will walk away. And I think you got there's a person who kind of sees your energy. Okay. Uh, I do see a Sag energy, so they could have Sag in their chart. Head over heart decision to offer you something. And this is the emotional energy. They're going to give you something to show you that they like you. Yeah, it's probably something simple. Never know. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a cycle going in your favor here. Yeah, so some of you may end something with someone where you feel something's off. They're secretive. They're hiding something. Uh, yeah, you may be getting tired of waiting, so you're kind of looking elsewhere here, but I actually feel like while you're waiting, <laughs> you have an emperor there. What does this emperor want? Oh yeah, they're thinking. See, very logical, just like I say, right there is your confirmation. Sensible, their strategy is to give you uh, something, you know, giving you sweet little gifts and doing nice things for you to show you that they like you. Head over heart decision. Someone who generally... Yeah, you know, it's their strategy, right? But it's someone who generally thinks with their head first and then their heart, but they're going to come in in a balanced manner because we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles there. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone's manifesting. They have all the tools they need. They're thinking. They have everything they need to manifest this. Gonna get something you want. This is someone who wants to manifest this. They want this to work. Um, they may be gathering energy or just kind of thinking about what to give you. They don't want to look like a fool. <laughs> Interesting. I see, it's definitely lots of Sag energy here. A little Aries energy. Tell me about the fool. Whoops. Yeah, see, this is someone who doesn't want to be a fool. Yeah, I'm not going to say if that's because, you know, that three of swords can be uh, love, feelings, emotion. Someone has all the tools, the information they need. They're going to take a leap of faith, but they don't want to look like a fool. Uh, I feel this is someone who's going to give you something. They, they're trying to be logical and sensible about it. Yeah, there's some kind of change here. Something is evolving. Some of you are moving away from someone, okay, or you're not taking a leap of faith or taking a risk because I feel like you're both thinking. Yeah, a little introspection, seeing things from a different perspective. You have a person who's kind of just taking a pause. They're looking for the truth. They're trying to figure something out. I think they're just trying to figure out what you might like, but you, what you might want. No, they don't want to be a fool. Okay, they don't. They don't want to take this leap of faith and then look like a fool. But they're looking at this from a different perspective. No, they definitely hang around. They see you uh, sexy, attractive, someone who knows what they want. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, see, there's that energy. Yeah, if you have a person who's coming towards you and things don't evolve and it doesn't go anywhere, uh, see, there's a bit of energy here where you are also manifesting as you know what you want. Um, and I do see this energy of not taking any risks. Uh, just a calculated risk. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Beautiful. That's a beautiful energy um, and moving towards something better. Some of you may be walking away from someone. You may be looking at things from a different perspective. So I do see, but I think it's a person here who's heading your direction. Someone looking for a soulmate connection. It's possible they're moving away from someone as well. They could be walking away from an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I see Gemini, Virgo energy. Oh, no, they're coming towards you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, someone sees you as that Empress energy. This is also the birth of something new. This is your energy of manifesting something new. You're doing things different. This is you ready for something different, ready to try something different. You have a person who's thinking about you. They see you different than their usual type. Why? Because you value yourself and you know what you want. You don't settle. Okay, lovely energy. 
Oops, there we go with that Ace of Pentacles. Yep, there you are. You know what you want. <laughs> yeah, you're not about to settle. But I do see you. You know, this this is a really good energy. And I'll tell you why this person's checking you out and they see you that way. Sexy, sensible, hardworking, creative. Okay, this is a person who, if you want something, you'll go after it. But you'll do things in a practical sense. You'll be sensible about it. Okay. So this is quite a uh, little mirroring energy here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so there you are speaking your truth. There, you, The Empress energy is coming out. You mastered all the elements. You've mastered the elements here. Okay, you, you so have this. Okay, Capricorn, you have this because you've got the elements. The only thing we need is the Queen of Cups energy. Um, but that's, we still got a few more cards to pull out, but it's here. Okay. Knowing what you want, not settling, focusing on creative pursuits. You speak the truth. You're not afraid to speak up. You will ask questions. If it doesn't look like it's going to be successful, um, you will move on. Uh, you are poised. You are ready. You handle yourself well. I do feel someone may be checking you out, the way you conduct yourself, the way you handle yourself. Uh, you look successful. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel as though you've got something. And I do feel if someone asks you, I do feel you are successful. You're successful enough in your way. Um, but I do see this victory here. You're about to get something you want. And I'm going to tell you, if someone doesn't give you the attention that you want, you'll see the truth and walk away. You'll move off towards something more successful. Uh, you're speaking up. I like that energy. Oops, there we go. Yeah, this is how you're conducting yourself. You have faith in yourself and your own decision-making process. Uh, I feel as though, yeah, look at this beautiful. This is how you're conducting yourself. So you got someone who's impressed by you. Okay, definitely. They have you on a pedestal. This is a person. This is about two people getting on the same page. Two people talking. I also see someone who's a bit of a free spirit in a lot of ways as well. But you're conducting yourself in a way you're going to have success, okay? That's where I feel. And you got a person who's definitely up in their head. We have an emperor and an empress here, Capricorn. Exchanging gifts. Why is this here? What's this exchanging gifts about? There we go. Oh, yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or somebody just financially stable. Uh, it's a big aha moment, a surprise. It's positive with the gifts, okay? Uh, this is someone who may be even seeing you as a gift. But I think someone's planning to give you something. They're manifesting you, and you are mirroring each other in some ways uh, here. And I do see that leap of faith, pushing through those fears. Someone's going to push through those fears. I think it's yourself. You've pushed through fears. You've taken a pause. You've done that introspection. You're seeing things from a different perspective. But this person sees you different. You're different than their usual type. Uh, and I think you're ready for someone different as well. Tell me about this magician. There we are. Yeah, see, this is an energy of pushing through fears. You see that energy? Some trust issues. Releasing that, yeah, moving away, knowing when to. If you don't trust someone, you're learning to trust yourself. If you don't trust somebody, you're going to move away. But you're moving towards something better. There's some kind of change, okay? And this is, I feel like you've got two people who are going through some kind of change. Uh, it's just letting things evolve, seeing where things go. Uh, letting evolve naturally, pushing through fears, okay? Yeah, you have a person, they could be at a distance. Oh, yeah, look at this energy. Oh, my gosh, you got someone who's headed towards you. They want to get to know you more. Somebody wants to get to know you more. Once they get to know you more, you see, they're, this, this, you're moving towards emotional fulfillment. You have a person coming after you here. Oh, yeah, so someone who's, uh, they're tempering it a little bit. They're getting out of their head. So someone's gone through the thinking. Uh, so I do see that epiphany, that aha moment. Um, so someone is going to give you something they're planning something okay and if they don't give you something they see you as a gift okay you see that says real if you gave this if you've given this person something and you're kind of waiting to see what happens there you've got them up in their head 
Uh, no doubt about it. But I feel as though you're just sitting there ready to shower your abundance upon someone, but you're being very logical. You're being very wise. You're looking at things from a different perspective. Okay. Yeah. If you don't get the attention you seek from someone, you will set yourself free. You see that? Uh, I do see you planning success, having success in the future. This is how you're going to have success. Stay in your Empress energy. Balance your head over heart. Be sensible. I see you very balanced. I think this person sees you that way. They kind of pull back. They look at you. Um, and I do feel they have a few fears because you're different than their usual type. They have a type. Okay. You conduct yourself differently, but they see this actually being successful after kind of pulling back and thinking about it. So you've got someone in their head here, and I do feel they're chasing after you. Oh yeah, this person's taming the beast, finding the strength and confidence they're getting out of their head. Uh, they're thinking about you. They see you as strong and confident. I don't think they're as confident as you are, but... <laughs> You have an emperor who probably comes on, you know, an emperor is someone who sometimes has a really big ego. So they come towards uh, people in that energy. Uh, this person's reining it in. They're taming the beast within themselves, you see, finding that strength and confidence kind of slow down a little bit. Uh, this is someone who doesn't want to look like a fool, guaranteed. Yeah. But they're coming to take that leap. So yeah. So it's this person taking that leap, pushing through fears. It could be yourself too. Pushing through those fears, re you know, reaching that emperor and that empress status. Two people here who've gone through some change, evolved, grown up, whatever you want to. Yeah, crossroads energy. Two people at a crossroads. This is a life path. Uh, a choice here. Beautiful energy. Tell me about this poised and ready. And we'll fill in the gaps. Oops. Why is poised here? See, it's the way you handle yourself. You're very poised. Oh, yeah, they find you really attractive. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful energy. Uh, they see you sensible, practical. You're definitely marriage material. They see this possibly being successful. But if you don't feel like you're going to have success, you will move on. And I think this person kind of gets it, too. It's the way you conduct yourself, your poise, the way you carry yourself. They like the way you carry yourself, the way you are when you're out and about. Um, they're definitely, if you don't know who this is, they've been kind of checking you out. Probably, where would they be checking you out? Where is this place? Let's see if it gives us a place. See the king and queen of pentacles, the king and queen of, or the emperor and empress. That's a beautiful energy. Whoops. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, see, this person's also wanting to approach you thinking, wondering if you have other options. They see you as successful, someone who gets a lot of attention. Uh, they also see if you don't get the attention you want, you will seek out other options. <laughs> you may be doing that with somebody here, but you have this person who's coming towards you. Uh, and I do see you uh, looking into the future. I think you can see yourself with this person. They really could be the one. Yeah, you're ready to team up with someone. Uh, they see you as compatible. This is this person, you know, someone they can build something with here. And that's what you want. There you go. We've got the queen. So we have all the queens. Uh, we have you in that energy. So this is how they're seeing you, okay? Uh, you're mastering the element. You're teaching someone how you want to be treated. If they don't want to give you, they don't give you any attention and they're seeking attention from others, it's talk to the hand, see you later, off I go. This person knows. They get you, okay? Now this is how you're going to be conducting yourself. But I see you doing it in a, pa a balanced way, very kind, very compassionate, uh, you want someone compatible. You're ready to go down this path. Um, it takes cooperation. It's all, you know, there's definitely, you have things in common. You and this person are going to have things in common. And I do think you're very loving and nurturing, but I do feel that there is someone you're moving away from. Okay. I feel like, is there someone here you're not trusting? And you're moving away from or you could be just reflecting on past relationships too, pushing through some fears you may have trust issues this person may have a few trust issues too because i see that fool energy reflecting on the past uh, pushing through those fears with that moon card and to uh yeah facing those fears you see moving forward this is a lovely reading you and this person have something in common 
Um, I do feel like you're definitely compatible, but I see you looking at the past with kindness and compassion, leaving it in the past. You're freeing yourself. Uh, you're conducting yourself differently. Uh, I see you having more faith in yourself. Uh, beautiful. This is a lovely, lovely energy. Uh, you really do have this, okay? Uh, but you also have to remember the Queen of Pentacles focused on money, finance, stability, being practical, being sensible, and very grounded. This is someone who makes people feel comfortable, okay? I feel this person's thinking about you. They feel comfortable around you. You're very balanced. Uh, your temperament is different what they're used than what they're used to, okay? You're different. Um, and you know, it's funny when you see this card here with this person's energy, when you see that, this is someone who's used to people who are just a little off or, <laughs> you know, they have a type. You're different than their usual type, but they're liking it because they're coming towards you. They're, you are different, but there's something about you. They're very drawn because they're heading right towards you. It's a life path, a choice. And now, so this is about the approach, how to approach you. Uh, you may be a little unapproachable. There's something here for you. So just watch a little bit. Okay, I actually feel like you make this person, I think you make them comfortable and I think you will. I actually feel like it's positive when you connect them, but they may have a little bit of concern if you have not met this person yet. I, I feel they're either just scoping you out, getting ready to approach. Make sure you are approachable. But I actually feel like you will make this person comfortable. I see you being gracious and kind, um, very grounded, very sensible. I see you looking into the future, ready for a partner. You're ready for a partner, Capricorn. You're ready. You've mastered the elements. You've learned all the lessons from all the queens. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that. And I'm going to pull out one more card. It's telling me to pull out another card for Capricorn. Where is this headed and who is this person? Yeah, so there's some things being cleaned up, cleared out, cleared up, you know, it's just clearing things up out of your house, clearing things up. It's a healing energy. That's why you're the empress. This is also an energy of someone who, you can see we have a moose here <laughs> uh, with the horns. That's all that gross, gross, all that growth and cleaning things up, clearing things up. It's a healing energy, but some of you are just clearing up your house clearing things up, but I think this is someone who's becoming clear about themselves, their type. They have a type. You're different than their usual type, okay? But I actually think you're actually very compatible. I actually feel that you, once you get to know this person and it kind of evolves, just let this evolve. Just see where it kind of goes. If you feel that you don't trust them or they're not giving you attention, you will move on. Like, I feel like it's just like stages I'm feeling here. I see just... Two people getting to know each other, you know, as you get to know each other more, you may find um, that they're not your type, you know, and I can see that going in pretty much any direction, but I see things being cleared up, cleaned out of your life because you've healed, okay? Uh, you are ready, uh, and I do see there's that healing energy. Just breathe. You're very balanced. You, Capricorn, you're so ready for a relationship. You really, really are. Tell me about this King of Swords. There we are. Oh, yeah, this is the one observing. Ah, they're observing their feelings, emotions. There's still things they don't know about you. They may be kind of checking you out. Yeah, they could. it could be any place. Wherever it is you go, you hang out. could be at work or through friends or family. Interesting energy, though. See, they're observing you and also as well as their feelings. There's things they don't know because that moon is partially hidden, you see. This is someone who has trust issues right they don't trust this is someone who doesn't trust easily uh, maybe they're very successful okay so they get a lot of people chasing them you aren't chasing and that's why you're different you're not going to chase this person so yeah you're different you see so this person as you get to know this person it is up to you to decide where this goes okay uh, you could change your mind Take a little time to get to know this person. I think that's what they're going to do with you, is take a little time to get to know you. You're different, but there's something that they really like about you. Lots of things that they like about you. Yeah, if you don't see, a, if you don't see yourself with this person, you will move on. You'll just go off on another path. Uh, but I actually think you're going to team up with this person. Yeah, so this could be a soulmate connection. Um, 
this actually you and this person could very much connect this is crazy i can there's so much energy here it's hard to uh, put it all into a complete perspective for each person uh, but you do mirror each other in some ways. You, and the reason is you both have all the tools you need. But this person's still gathering info, so they have the information they need when they come toward you. Towards you, so someone who likes to be prepared. They like to be prepared. They like to have all the details. Very grounded. Very sensible themselves. Very focused on their finances. Uh, they see you as somebody very. I do feel they see you as someone they can be comfortable with. Uh, it's possible. They may be different than the mirroring. They may be different than your usual type. Maybe there's something you're not sure of. Because I do see the possibility of some of you um, kind of not sure with this person. As I see you, um, you know. But I do see that birth of something new. You are ready for something new. So if you do have a person who's keeping you waiting or you know, it's not going anywhere, you may get tired of waiting for a particular person and move on. Uh, regardless you do have another person there's possibility you you have a soulmate coming in uh, someone you, there is that compatibility let me just dig tell me more about this king of pentacles energy this it's still the emperor i don't feel like it's two people uh so much in that energy right there i feel like it's this person they're planning something they're looking at the details very meticulous uh, somewhat cautious king of pentacles let me focus on that there we go yeah so someone who's a little careful see they're a little afraid to be rejected this is someone who doesn't like rejection so they're planning they want to make sure they have all the information so someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you either too they know this person knows if they don't come towards you in the right way uh, they don't approach you in the right way it's because of the way you conduct yourself you'll reject them so they don't want to miss this opportunity uh, they do have trust issues and i actually feel uh this person the more you get to know each other i think this as this evolves it's two i think both of you are going to push through some fears here okay pushing through those fears just letting it evolve naturally and seeing where it goes they have you on a pedestal though watch you don't put yourself up so high though you might some of you may be a little unapproachable okay <laughs> so yeah just watch that for some of you i don't think all of you just some of you um, i do think watch your words temper your words your thoughts your emotions i feel like you've got this though regardless it's likely stuff that you're thinking about anyway beautiful so i'm going to grab some charms here wow you guys okay so we have a seashell in fact we have two seashells could be something to do with the ocean the sea whenever i see the sea it makes me it always tells me it's time to see things for the way they are there's that wisdom that you know that being very wise two people both of you being very wise if you have met someone le recently and they are different than the usual type there is a little bit of fear okay a little bit of fear mysteries things that this person doesn't know about you mysteries maybe you're very mysterious you sometimes uh the queen of pentacles can have that energy as well as the empress uh, there's a key hmm the key is seeing the key is being an empress but it's also balancing all these energies um you know towards the positive energy of the queen of rods the queen of swords queen of pentacles and the queen of cups the queen of cups is offering up some emotions but not offering all of yourself don't be the wife till you are the wife kind of energy that's what the empress does okay so we have oh we have a kiss <laughs> and we have a ring Oh my goodness, this could actually go somewhere. Uh, you could end up in a committed relationship with this person. Uh, I do think this person's going to give you something. I think they're worried that you won't like it. I think you have someone who's a bit of a worry wart. They're never going to let you know. They'll keep that completely to themselves because they definitely have an ego. Both people here, I think, need to watch your egos a little bit. Uh, I'm not saying it's an energy of uh, two people who you know feel they're better than everyone or anything like that it i don't feel it's that kind of ego it's just watch how you um conduct yourself you may give the impression that um 
or make yourself a little unapproachable. So there's something to think about there too. Um, I see that sword energy twice there. All right, so I'm going to grab some, actually I should grab a couple more charms so they can tell a story. Uh, there's another key. Uh, there's that energy of the horn. So it's a call, it's communication. Or it's also that someone who toots their horn, a little ego. Watch that. You have to, you've got a person with a bit of an ego here. Okay, both people need to watch that. And there's that another key. So there's three keys here. Yeah, so some of you could be leaving someone behind you don't trust, moving away to avoid a disaster. You may have another person coming towards you. Or it's just reflecting on past relationships, taking that knowledge forward. That's what makes you the empress. And then we have the... Um, angel energy balancing head over heart Isn't that beautiful I'll put it right there you see and then there's the hand yeah that's the talk to the hand you may actually do that with someone Queen of Pentacles can do that too it's kind of slow down be patient okay maybe you need to take a little time to get comfortable with someone you want them to just kind of wait a little and maybe they have to uh, so that things go in their favor there's just so much in this reading here for this person's energy and i think both people are uh, when you if you haven't met this person when you do you're going to be in your head about them try not to be stay in that empress energy all things balanced okay we have a u a p a k an s and an m i'm gonna grab one more it's telling me to and another S. First and last initials, the place where you may meet. Okay. Um, not really seeing where you may meet this person, but I do see this soulmate connection. I see compatibility. I see cooperation, compromise. I see you see looking into the future, seeing yourself with this person. This really could be the one. But that poised and ready, that pedestal, they either have you on a pedestal or maybe you've raised the bar very high. So you're getting a little heads up maybe to just watch that just a little bit. Uh, but definitely I can see you are generally with that Queen of Pentacles energy, someone who makes people very comfortable because you're very tempered, very balanced. So I actually feel like you're different than this person's usual type. Or you're going to just try something different. Whatever it is, you've got this. So I do see possible first kiss being successful. I see a ring. It uh, doesn't mean marriage. It doesn't mean engagement. It could be. Uh, a lot of times it's just making a deal for two, both of you to uh, have enjoy, you know, both planning to make this successful. Both people doing what it takes to make this a successful union to kind of stay on course here. It's about an agreement, okay? Yeah, you may not agree with everything with someone too. Like, uh, I definitely see the possibilities of a few energies, but I can't place who that past or person behind or the people you dated behind. It's like they're not there anymore. Uh, and there's no place like home, yeah. You feel like home to this part. I actually think most of you, yeah, you have some good luck here. Serendipity, you see. I, I think you actually will make this person feel very comfortable. Uh, I see this person thinking about you. They see you as somebody who makes them feel comfortable. Now, can they make you feel comfortable? Maybe that's the problem here or an issue. I do see a few trust issues, uh, but I see pushing through fears, taking lessons you learned from the past. Um, this person needs to, they're going to miss an opportunity and I think they know they're going to miss an opportunity if they don't be patient and they don't take the time to get to know you. Okay, so there's some things this person needs to figure out about their feelings and emotions if they want things to go in their favor, but I, I think they have you on a pedestal regardless. Take care, you guys. I wish you the best. Capricorn, you have this. Bye for now.